What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and today we're gonna to be fixing a Monoprice stereo tube amplifier. This is not a true tube amplifier because it doesn't, it has a mixture of solid state electronics like diodes and transistors and valve tubes. You know, in the United States it's called vacuum tubes and overseas it's called valves. But either way, this is a hybrid setup where the preamp is tubes and the rest of the power is powered by power transistors. So right now we're going to be fixing this hybrid tube amplifier. And I have the parts right here. I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot. If you have the Monoprice stereo tube amplifier or any other tube amplifier, this video probably would help you out. Even if you don't have the Monoprice version, still this is a very common repair. If you're hearing popping noises coming out of your speaker, no audio from one of your speakers, or humming, this is all related to the tubes. Tubes is probably the first thing that goes in the electronics. Um, diodes, transistors, they last way longer than tubes. And that's why they converted from tubes to transistors and diodes throughout the years because it's more reliable. But you still get a really nice, rich, warm tone from the tubes. So a lot of musicians like to use these tubes to get that sound. And they like the look and the vintage part of it too. It's very charming. Right now, they're all glowing orange, as you can see. But sometimes a tube can be bad and still glow orange. If one of your tubes does not glow at all or glows purple or bright red in the center, that could be signs of a bad tube. Use caution, tubes are very hot and can burn your skin. If you turn on the amplifier and you feel that it's getting warmer and warmer and warmer, then you know that it is working. Well, it has voltage going through it. So all of these are warm, but my tube is still bad. But which one is bad? How do I know it's bad? Well, let's go over here to the speaker. The speaker got no hum. I'll come over to this speaker. And I got a hum. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to find out. Now, if you turn off your amp, of course, um, when you first turn it on, the tubes take a while to warm up, okay? Now, this is a hybrid tube amplifier. So when I turn it on, and the hum kicks in about like 30 seconds later. Now, if I turn it off, I don't get the hum, of course, because it's off. But if I wait maybe like 10 minutes, while these all cool down and I turn it back on, the hum will kick in after like 15, 20 seconds. And that's because these valves, these tubes will activate right around that time. They have to warm up first. So if I get that hum after 30 seconds or 20 seconds, then I know it's a tube. Now, if I turn on the amplifier and I, you know, after letting it cool off for maybe five, 10 minutes and I get a hum right away, then I know it's not um, one of these tubes that are defective. It might be part of the solid state circuit. Then you have to open up this amplifier. Now what's cool about this amplifier is that you can swap out the tubes without ha having to open up the whole entire case. Right now the hum is coming from the right side. To find out what tube is bad, this is what I do. All right, so you wanna power everything off and use gloves if the tubes are really hot. Now my amplifier isn't, my amplifier is not hot or the tubes aren't not hot, that is. And the reason why is because I only had the amp maybe on for like less than a minute. So these shouldn't be that hot. So I've got this one. And they just wiggle right out. Now even though it's only been on for a minute, it's still actually quite warm. Now, right here on top of this tube is a coating. And you can see it's either silver, it'll be black, or gray. If you see that it's white, then you may have a crack in your tube. And of course, if the tube does not get warm, does not glow, then most likely the tube is bad. On this tube, as you can see right here, I'll spin it around. But on this tube, you see how it's clear right there? 
and I spin it around and it's black. See how it's black right there? Spin it around again, it's black. That is a sign that it's going bad or is bad. And that could be a sign why we, we're getting that hum coming out of the speaker. Now right here, here's the pins. Now you see there is a space right here because it only goes in one way. So when you put in the tube, you can't really put it in the wrong way. Just make sure you put it in properly and according to that space right there. Uh, also the part number, you'll see two part numbers. Um, but if you type in in Google or eBay, you type it in the search, this part number, it's really hard to see because it's all black. Yeah, it's really dark and black. All right, but anyway, once you type that in an eBay search or uh, you can type it in a Google search, you'll you'll find your tubes. Now, there's many different places that make tubes. Russia is one of them and is one of the highest recommended tubes. So this is the website I got my tubes from. You just type that in. Use the code eBay if you want to save some money. And they also have an eBay shop, but uh, you know, of course, PayPal and eBay charges them fees. So they prefer you going to this website. Let's go ahead and take this out. Now you can use gloves. I don't know if it's true or not, but if you touch it with your fingers, supposedly the oils on your fingers may shorten the life on the vacuum tube. Now before I install them, I'm gonna go ahead and swap this one with the other tube. Wiggle that out and then put this one in this socket. All right, and then put this one in the socket. There we go, and then turn it back on and see if the sound changes. Let's raise the volume. The hum kicks in after 20, 30 seconds, then you know it's uh, one of the tubes are defective. And look, sure enough, it's the left speaker getting that sound and the right not all right so we know now that it's this is the bad tube now anytime you are um, going to swap out one tube make sure you swap them out in pairs meaning that if this is the same tube as the one on the left and right is the same tubes you want to swap them out in pairs okay so we remove this and these are just Chinese tubes. I'm upgrading my tubes to the, I think these are the Russian ones, according to the product page. Just to be on the safe side, you could put use gloves to install these tubes or wipe them down. There we go. It's kind of fun to swap out these. I don't mind every two years swapping these out. I really don't mind. I think it's kind of cool when you plug them in, get different tones, different sounds, you know, with different tubes. Of course, it's a preamp tube, so you're not going to hear a big significant difference versus a power tube amp. Slide it in. There we go. Let's go ahead and turn it on, and we should hear an improvement of sound because these are upgraded tubes, and we should uh, hear clarity. No humming. I'll, I'll max it out. So of course it takes like 20 seconds to warm up. But if you still hear a hum, then you can swap out these big ones. Oh yeah, crystal clear. I'm gonna switch it from the audio input, my TV, to Bluetooth and make sure we have sound. Hold it in, okay? But what it does not do is Very clear. up and down. So if you're interested in this mono price stereo tube amplifier, click on the link in the video description below. If you're interested in where to get these tubes, I'll leave a link in the video description below. If you know anyone that has a tube amplifier, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them, help someone out. If you know other ways how to test tubes, Go ahead and help out the community. Post a comment below and let us know your knowledge. Give me a big thumbs up if this video was informative. And if you want more tech videos like this coming your way, subscribe to Tampa Tech. Click on the subscribe link right here or the subscribe button down below and hit that bell to stay notified on the latest videos. If you want to check out my other repairs, click on this playlist link right here. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.